Well, we know all about how first responders work throughout these dangerous days and nights, but often overlooked another group that is right on the front lines. Our weekend anchors Jacob Pecklow and Bryn Carmen have more on some unsung heroes in Adair County. We are here in Adair County, downtown Adair. This is about a 15 foot high snow pile, Bryn. It's real cold here. People have been dealing with this for hours and they're Bailey, what they're putting all the snow here in the entire town. People have been working all throughout the night to make sure that this place is clear as possible. That's right, and I was talking to some of the snowplow drivers who have been doing it in this area for the last 13 years. I think this storm is one they're never going to forget, one of the worst they've ever seen. Neighbors and community members all kind of agree they're over winter and they're ready for spring. Probably the second worst storm that I can recall right off the top of my head. Semis littered across I-80. Started out 4 o'clock this morning and people stranded and basically I just went out and brought them to town and get them off the road and then we just go get them when we can. As neighbors in Adair County dig out, the roads they drive on are only better because local business owners have been working around the clock to slow the force of winter. Nobody should have been out. Uh, it, it was it was that bad. And while the hours are long and sometimes the gratitude is minimal, it's a job Tyler Carney takes great pride in. I would love to be home with my kids and, and family um, myself, but this is what I get paid to do and uh, I, I do it by choice. Um, and I'm happy to help out with it. For Scott Harkins, his stories of heroism outweigh the peril of his daily calling. We don't have to worry about getting run over and killed quite like we used to. Some stand out more than others. That car behind you, that, that one over there, that was a lady and a 10 month old baby was stranded in there all night. A plow picked them up Sunday morning and both mom and baby are okay. But often these critical moments can happen at the worst times. Caught a curb backing up and it bent the rim and popped the tire. So I've been running uh, three wheels for the last five or six hours instead of four. It's why Tyler was forced to take a break knowing he has to venture back out for an even busier 24 hours. Slept at the shop for maybe a couple hours and was back at it at three again this morning and have been at it since. So then no end in sight. As you can imagine, this is just the beginning of the digging out here in Adair. They haven't gotten to all of the roads. They're just slowly but surely working their way through the community. Of course, there is a tow ban still in effect, so a lot of cars are going to be fished out sometime tomorrow. This is just a reminder for everybody that you want to take your time. Brie and I, when we came out here, it took us twice as long as it normally would to get out here to Adair. Casey, we don't have to go out in this. Do not go out in this. Reporting in Adair with Brynn Carmen, I'm Jacob Pecklow. Let's send it back to you.